up early Q is a behind the scenes story of what was early burlesque. This unique documentary was written, directed and produced by Leslie Zemeckis. We caught up with Leslie here at the Marion Hotel in Dublin as part of the Jemison Dublin International Film Festival and we had a chat about some of the elegant and beautiful women that she interviewed involved in burlesque. So, Leslie, first how did you come up with the idea of for the documentary? <laughs> I was doing a show, um, a one-woman show based on burlesque, and I didn't really know anything about burlesque, so I thought I would start investigating what it really was, and I knew the really famous names like Gypsy Rose Lee. And I, you know, a long story, I got hooked up with some of these women who had performed, you know, 40, 50 years ago, and started asking them their story and realized that nobody had really had asked them. There was nothing out there like it. So it just kind of snowballed, and I just said, I'm going to put this all on tape and, and do something with it. And when you were a chorus girl, we started out at $40 a week, and that was a lot of money. And at 16, I already had three children, and I was supporting those children. What motivated me most of all was seeing my mother give birth in the cotton field and work herself to the bones and then put those old stockings on me and she'd protect my arms so I wouldn't get sunburned. Yeah, they had quite a sad story, a lot of them. Some of them had very, you know, sad childhoods and their parents, a few of them were alcoholics and they even got into, um, one of them in particular got into a, not a violent relationship, but their partner was into drugs and, you know, it ended badly and I think their story, you wouldn't really put the stories together. It was great the way it kind of all came out. Very sad. Yeah, I mean, a lot, and that's kind of the history of burlesque. So many of them came from such poverty, and it was the only way, just talking about the stripping, which burlesque is not, it's the comedians and it's all the other acts, but the women, there was no other form for them to escape their horrible, horrible childhood. Some didn't, some had, you know, a normal upbringing but a lot was the only way and they reached great fame and money at a certain point. My mother Helen Bingler was raised by a wicked stepmother. She had her four teeth knocked out by a broom handle. She was a showgirl and she had an act herself where she bent over backwards on a chair and would drink water when she worked with Abbott and Costello. They nicknamed her Bingo. I think uh, what she wanted to do was marry and have children. It was mainly to get out of the poor situation that she was in. Is this, this is your first visit to the Jemison Dublin International yeah, Film yeah. Festival. How does it compare to other festivals that you've been to? Uh, yeah, no, I've been to some, some horrible ones, so, um, which I won't say. Not for this film, in, you know, previous. Um, so, so far, so good. Burlesque was a fabulous, gaudy era in America that's been left out of the history books. I was 14 and summer was coming and school was out, so I went down and applied for a chorus girl job at the casino theater. I couldn't go to the old Howard because my mother was working there. <laughs> <laughs> 